guys, I'm going to do a what I carry with me to placement video. A couple of weeks ago, or I think back in January, I did a video where I featured what I carry around in my everyday purse. And I mentioned that I would do one on what I take to placement with me because I carry quite a few different things as well. So I thought I would show you that today. So the bag I use to carry everything is my large Longchamp bag, um, which is getting a bit tattered and battered about now. I tend to use it for any days that I have a lot of things on in uni because um, you can just carry so much stuff in it and then it folds up into like nothing as well and it's waterproof which is what I like um, most about it for placement because I go to placement at such odd hours so I could go to placement in the morning and it's pouring down with rain and then later on it's fine so it's nice to have a bag that's waterproof so you have when you open the bag you get like a little pocket inside it doesn't have any other pockets bar this little one that's kind of like an open pocket everything else is just like one big crevice really so the first thing i carry in there is my phone um we can't keep our phones on us on shift obviously um so i keep this on silent and pretty much off when I'm on shift I just keep it in that pocket for when I'm on break. I also keep some like things that I put in my pocket every day kind of in this pocket so it's easy to grab and just take out because I get the train to placement every morning. I don't like to leave things in my pockets because I'm just sitting down or bending. They tend to dig into you on the train. So the first thing I have are just some scissors. I also have two black pens, which I think one is running out now so I need to replace that, a red pen and then a highlighter, they are like invaluable. And then I am constantly getting blisters, cuts, you name it. So I also keep some little plasters in there as well. Um, we do keep plasters on the wall but sometimes I have funny reactions to certain plasters. So I just keep a small stock in there as well anyway, for like easy reach. I normally keep them in my little mini makeup bag, but just because with being on shift, if I have to nip in quickly and get a plaster, it's easy to have them in that pocket. I then have, I'm just going to start pulling things out at random. I keep my little makeup bag, and if any of you guys watched my kind of swap package, I can't remember what I called it, I got a package off my friend Becca in America and she sent me two of these Ipsy bags and I love this one that says very important products on it. And inside I just have a mirror, my Carmex lip balm, my inhaler, a nail file because you always always need a nail file, another lip balm by Nivea, a normal hand sanitizer i keep another one in my bag as well for when i'm on shift but this makeup little mini makeup bag carries with me from bag to bag so i tend to keep like everyday stuff in it as well so i have the bath and body works winter candy apple antibacterial and then i have an elf concealer and then various like lip glosses and lipsticks i'm putting these all back as i go along as well so I have that in there as well. I also keep my hand cream, which is in my February favourites. And this is the Body Shop Absinthe Purifying Hand Cream. And it smells amazing. And it's so moisturising as well. And it really um, absorbs really fast into your skin. I, when I'm on shift, like to keep a little mini book in my pocket. Because um, I am always writing things down, I constantly keep a list of drugs that I need to learn um, or read up on, I keep codes for like staff rooms and things like that or like telephone numbers for certain things in there so it's always really really useful to have and I am constantly asked by like relatives and, anything, and everyone if I have just a little bit of paper so it's super handy. I keep my big Hydrate Mate water bottle in there and this is a 900 milliliter bottle that has like times on it so you can keep track of how much you do need to drink and i believe having the hours on it is supposed to stop you over or under hydrating yourself 
which is really really useful and I tend to put juice and stuff in that when I get bored of just plain water I keep gloves because I leave for placement about quarter past six in the morning and I come back sometimes as late as like half nine ten o'clock so gloves are a must and these are like the special ones where the finger and your index finger and your thumbs are touchscreen compatible so I don't have to take my gloves off to text or phone I keep a little mini compressed deodorant in there it's always super helpful if you're on like a 12 14 hour shift just to kind of like freshen up a bit it makes you feel a little bit better as well because you can sometimes feel a bit grimy when you're on shift I also keep there's two things I keep in here that aren't in here at the moment I normally keep my lunch or like snacks for the day in here um, but obviously they as I eat them they're not there and then the other thing I keep in here is my coffee kind of Starbucks mug I take a coffee with me every morning drink that on the way and then put the empty mug in my bag so they're not in there because obviously that's in the kitchen I also keep a pack of tissues I got these in like a little pack of four for like 50p at Primark and they're super super handy I even spilt my coffee in uni the other day and it was so handy having tissues I also keep a pencil case because if I don't keep extra pens and different coloured pens and things like that I always end up running out on the day I don't bring the pencil case with me so I think kind of like as a superstition I just bring it with me anyway I also on the gloves theme carry a brolly because we're Britain and we're the northwest Liverpool area it always rains no matter what it rains um, and I don't tend to buy very expensive umbrellas because they always break when it's like rain windy and rainy it always breaks so this was like four pound from Primark I also have a snack bar in here which is like a summer fruit snack bar sometimes I will take my kind of how hungry I get on shift fluctuates so I prefer to take slightly more than what I might eat um, in things like snack bars and things like that so that if I don't eat it I've got a snack for either going home or like the next day because sometimes I'm not really hungry when I leave and then sometimes I'm absolutely ravenous when I'm on the way home so it's always useful to have one of them I also randomly have a hair bubble in the bottom of my bag I don't know why I think it was on my wrist one day and I just kind of took it up and threw it in my bag I have my ID badge um, which I have to wear on shift so that everyone knows that I'm actually a legit student I have a mini it's like a keyring one but I don't actually have it attached to my keys it's a little tangle angel the baby brushes and I love this one it's so useful for getting like the knots out of your head without pulling like your hair and sometimes if you have your hair out for like 12 hours it can get a bit messy so it's super useful to have one of these to just kind of smooth everything back into place I also have my house keys with all my numerous keys on it I have my Purell on the like pulley thing that nurses have um, and essential when I'm on shift I have my purse that has all my credit and debit cards and m numerous receipts <laughs> I am like constantly collecting receipts but I mainly use this so that if I need to because I pay for my train to get there to uni um, I don't have like a pass I pay every time I go because it doesn't work out cost effective sometimes I have a pass um, I always carry my purse with me and then sometimes if I don't feel like what I've brought for lunch or whatever I can just go and buy something from the canteen and the last thing that I have in the, in here is my PAR, like my record, my achievement record folder which has my PAR and everything inside which we have to carry on like a daily basis to placement so that we can fill out any paperwork, any timesheets anything like that so it's all in there and that is my bag very very empty and I now need to put everything back in because I am back on at seven o'clock half seven tomorrow morning but I hope you guys enjoyed I do sometimes keep my stethoscope in there 
because I work on a critical care environment we have to listen to people's chests so it's useful to just have it in there in case there's like a shortage or like everyone's using them because um, one of the checks we do over morning is listen to everyone's chest so that if it sounds like wheezy or anything like that we know about it um, but that is pretty much it and I hope you guys enjoyed bye guys